Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm Blessed Ro and I'm back with another video. So today y'all, I am here to do an update, yay! Finally, this is my first video of 2021. Happy New Year. So um, today is actually January the 10th when I'm recording this video and I'm gonna try to upload it tonight. January 10th is already night time, so yeah. Oh, got me a Amaze Fit. Amaze Fit. Anyway, it's a fitness tracker. From Amazon. Let me show y'all. It is very nice. I um. Yeah, look. <laughs> the steps are not accurate for this today. I actually had it out for a long time. That would be pitiful. It's six hundred and ninety-two steps. Ooh. But anyway. Y'all see what time it is. Um, I love this thing. It does a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> I was going to get me, um, I was thinking about getting a Fitbit finally. But um, I don't know. And then I saw the Fitbit scale and I was going to get it, you know, to sync it together, which is really good. But then I saw this and it did like some stuff that I like. And I was like, oh, I should get that. So I got it. It has an app that comes with it and it's really good. I have, um, fitness trackers before I never had a fitbit i actually was considering getting one this time i was really really close to getting it but then i saw this on amazon i'm insert the box that's how the box looked when i um um got it so anyway it's really nice i don't know all the features it does yet haven't really um been using all of them i just got it earlier this week i started using it and i was surprised at how little <laughs> steps that i take yeah um the first day i think i didn't even take two thousand steps like oh my goodness that's horrible yes yesterday i got like well i did three thousand i think the the fitness tracker probably said like i was about 10 steps away but i didn't have it on the entire time so i know i did three thousand yesterday which was the most that i did all week um other than today i probably i think i did more than well most likely i did more than that today because i actually went to the store but i didn't have this on and i actually just put it on a little while ago well tonight so so for the majority of the day i did not have it on but i do have me some um goals that i am setting gosh y'all i really i really need to be more active so i'm thinking i'm gonna do start out with five thousand um at least this upcoming week <laughs> try to do five thousand make it my goal to do yeah five thousand per day this week and and increase it from there because oh my goodness isn't that horrible y'all if you can get a fitness tracker i don't even know how much this was it wasn't very expensive but i know they had some that were like 20 or 30 dollars if you can get one to count your steps um yeah i would highly suggest doing that because sometimes well for me i was thinking that i took more steps than that really <laughs> i really did um but that's one way to, to help um keep track of how many steps you're taking you can get a fitbit fitness tracker or whatever you can that's a good way and then you can challenge yourself um which i'm doing challenging myself to do the 5,000 this week my update from the last video i've um been doing okay i set my goals like i said for this month yeah uh, my goal is to lose 15 pounds this month i did a weigh-in on january the first i haven't weighed myself since then don't plan on weighing myself until february the first um the last weigh-in that i did before january the first was shortly after my 30-day water fast which i expected to gain weight i usually gain after the water a water fast an extended water fast i usually gain from five to ten pounds that's what i normally do and that's what i did um you know when i first started by eating and so after that <laughs> um that was when the real challenge came like on my last video i was saying that i was doing the omad but not every day so anyway pretty much had about the same thing going on um as i did on my other video after my last video 
I did not do OMAD every day, which I didn't on my last video either. So I went on vacation, which is not an excuse because this, we're supposed to be able to incorporate it in our lives. We are. It's vacation. It's normal. We take vacation. You can't go on vacation from your eating plan. But <laughs> this is no excuse, but I did. I, um, we took a little trip and I had a great time and I did not do OMAD and I did not do no meat and no dairy. Hmm. They're very little dairy. I don't really do dairy that much anyway, but, um, yeah, when we, I went out of town and I just was on vacation from my healthier eating plan. So, um, yeah, so as it was expected for me to gain some weight, um, when I weighed myself in January the 1st, I was, I expected to have had gained some weight because I know how I was eating when I was out of town and I did, I gained some weight, but anyway, I'm going to show you how, this is how much I weighed on January the 1st. So, as you can see, I gained five pounds when I was on vacation. Because, like I said, after the fast, I had automatically just put the, you know, the 10 pounds back on. I think I mentioned that in my last video. I need to watch that video. So, what I was supposed to have been doing was going back down. But, I came up a little. And now, hopefully, as today is the 10th, I'm down lower than that. Because my goal is to lose 15 pounds this month. And today is the 10th. But anyway, y'all, um, yeah, I deviated from the plan while I was on vacation. I think that I mentioned the 10 pounds in the last video. The last video was extremely long. It was actually like 30 minutes and I edited a lot of it out because I was talking, talking, talking. I was like, oh my goodness, I was just rambling um, pretty much like I'm doing now. But anyway, the, the reason I mention that is because I don't know if I mentioned my weight in that video or not because I edited out so much. I may have edited that part out. Well, so that's my weight for January the 1st. And my next weigh-in that I'm planning to do will be February the 1st. And so I'm going to strive to reach my goal of losing 15 pounds this month. And y'all... And then they'll put me back where I was after my water fast, after my 30 day water fast. We have to trust the process like Albert Towns says. Go check out Albert, y'all. And um, yeah, so I'm trusting the process and the process that I'm trusting is to increase my physical activity and decrease my overeating. My January goals are to get more sleep, drink my water, no meat, no dairy, increase my physical activities, and my weight loss goal is 15 pounds. However, y'all, like I'm not weighing until February the 1st. We'll see on February the 1st how, how I did by implementing my other goals. Will that help me reach my 15 pound weight loss goal? Hopefully I'll surpass it, y'all. We'll see. Anyway, that is it for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Don't forget to spread love all around.